Hello, this is Krillian, and welcome to episode 18 of my Let's Play, Dragon Age Origins, where we are playing as Krillian Kuzland, a rogue playing on hard difficulty. We have come to the final tower part, where we're going to save the circle from Aldrin. And I am going to save the circle. I like to do the good things, and this is the good thing. Um, my f ultimate goal is that everyone plays. Fight it, dude! Fight it! Fight it! Do you accept the gift that I offer? Accepted. Doesn't seem like a very nice gift. Ah, look what we have here. An intruder. I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? Um. What were you doing immediately? Oh! How could I disobey when you say that in such a commanding voice? I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean you killed my servants. Naturally, you're not frightened of us at all. Oh, no. Ah, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Let's not be hasty. I'm trying to have a civilized conversation here. Uh... A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your gentry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The Chantry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're <laughs> mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. True. Resistance! Everywhere I go, resistance! How very inconsiderate! I even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I, Irving? What have you done to him? <sighs> Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving, telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never. That's enough out of you, Irving. He'll serve me eventually. As will you. No. We go Killing that one. you would be a waste. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I can do that. I can give you power and a new life. I'm not a mage. I don't know how you do that. Yeah, it doesn't sound very important. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what I've decided, and that is what will be done. 
Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Okay, so Don't forget fight. the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. Okay. So. We have a dude here. Two there. Okay. You. Come into there. You. Run back to this corner. When come to this corner. Bah. Another one. Yeah. Everyone, kill this. Oh my goodness, that's very, very bad. Why did you not go? That's it. You. Bill. You. Get to revive. Shell. Oh, really? I think we stopped it. Okay, shell. Awesome. Cutting? That's fine. Okay, we're gonna take all. Throw that out. Grab this. See what else we we did not come close to leveling. Really, nothing else. Okay. Oh, Maker, I'm too old for this. Uh, I hope Irving, not. are you all right? I've been better, but I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynn? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. Um... No, he can lead on. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the circle be housed in a tower. <laughs> well, you know, very mage-like, I guess. Irving? 
Maker's breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. Uh, I believe order has been restored to the circle. We will rebuild. The circle will go on, and we will learn from this tragedy and be strengthened by it. We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. Uh, I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. Yes, Irving. For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Probably. Seems to be the relationship that they have. Uh, let's talk to Irving. Here we are, the tower in disarray. The circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. Mm. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. Mm. You have my word, as First Enchanter. The Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Wynn, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. I understand. Tell me it again. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. Okay. So I got magic sympathizer and a lot of favorite. You really points. killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Let's trade. Okay. Get that. Hopefully I can go back in and get the things that I was unable to get before. Uh, I'll hold off on that for the moment. Go to that. Not that one. Not that one. Um, yeah, that. We're gonna keep the Templar armor, even though it's only tier three. We're gonna give it to Alistair. Um, I 
Yeah, we'll give... I probably should not have sold that, but whatever. So, don't like that. That one's decent. That one doesn't matter. That one's good. Um, rid of all of those. Keep that. Okay. I have 12 gold. Hmm. I think that's everything for now. Okay, let's talk to Cullen. See if he's. I wish I could have gone with them to fight. Huh. Okay, so we can go to Ban Lauren. Probably down Harmless. You do Brazilian, Red Cliff, or Frost. Uh, da, 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 da. We actually need to go to our camp first because we have some injuries. And then, uh, part of me wants to do. I have been studying Mother's grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Sounds good. Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands, but this is not it. Uh, you seem disturbed, though. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Uh, immortality. Oh, huh? if only twere so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter. And when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Mm. That's the case. Why are you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said. The Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. That's pretty horrible. And yeah, what do you want to do about it? There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Hmm. I'll help you then what can. needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. If I am present when she is slain, I cannot be certain that she will not be able to possess my body right then. So I must remain at the camp, confront her, and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Okay. Time limits? Not really, but the sooner the better, no? Uh, I'll see what I can do. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. Okay, I need to pause the video one second. Okay. Yes? Let's see. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> mm, how do you become a safe changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Mm. Chapter 1. 
Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Do, do, do. Other humans. The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Okie dokie. Um, never heard of that. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Hmm. Should we only do that to make her happy? I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. Anyone do it? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Mm. Okay. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? That one sounds funny, but I'm just going to tell her she's useful. Oh! You're simply full of surprises, little man, aren't you? But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Okay. Let's come here. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Um, let's look at your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. I'm not sure there's really a discount, but whatever. Okay, that took up most of my gold, but it is what it is. There are 15 thoughtful gifts, or 50 thoughtful gifts. Okay. I'm pretty sure if I went to uh, dinner, I could get this the uh, stuff I want. Hmm. That looks pretty good, but I don't know if it's worth the two gold. No, I could get one of these. Uh, okay. What's for now? Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a what was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Hmm. I want some enchantment. Enchantment! Okay, so we're gonna do Olaf's. Could do. Two electricity. I'm gonna do a lot of electricity. And you can have one point of fire. Okay. What's up, it Shell? speaks. Uh, what questions? It are doesn't up? have better things to do. Mm. Oh yes, that I remember quite well. My former master, the Mage Wilhelm, he brought me. 
As I recall, he had acquired some position with whatever lord ruled the land. I, being little more than a glorified possession at the time, was brought along. Oh, how he enjoyed impressing the villagers with me. Gollum snarl at that villager there, be fearsome. And of course, I would have to do it. <sighs> hmm. You don't like it, He huh? did love using that control rod. Fondled it so much, his wife actually threatened to throw it in the lane. Ha! <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. Which reminds me, where did it find the rod? Did it pay a great deal for it? We're gonna tell him that's making him happy. Good. Clearly, happy. I am worth it. Uh, way in front of the tower. That is where Wilhelm kept me. He wanted me out in the open where I could be frightening like a scarecrow. I was supposed to watch for thieves. Pah! Plus, his wife didn't want me indoors. She said there wasn't room for me. Hag. His wife, huh? Humph. I was once larger, ten feet tall. Then the loathsome hag complained that I couldn't fit through the doors. So the mage had me shrunk down, shrunk down. Can it believe it? And she still wanted me out. That's... so that's why... With a chisel. And a lot of nerve. That's terrible. And I don't think it would work. I traveled with the mage. He did a lot of traveling, I remember that. But where we went? It is rather fuzzy. I remember great battles, fighting many humans long ago. They were all very soft and squishy. And before that, I... No, there are only images. I was somewhere dark. Hmm. How old are you? I have no idea. Wilhelm used to brag that the dwarves stopped making golems centuries ago. I do not age as you soft creatures do. Sadly, my memory is no better. Plus, I get bored and stop paying attention. I'd have happily stomped them all into paste, and then ripped down their little houses and stomped on them, too. In fact, after 30 years of watching them, I do it twice. What I didn't like was being ordered to do it. Dangled in front of those frightened morons like some... scary thing. Once I was a statue, it took those villagers years before they'd even approach me. The first one to actually work up the nerve to touch me urinated himself. Ugh. Interesting, huh? Good. I was just about done talking about it. It does like to have a good chat now and again, doesn't it? Okay. i do one or two more conversations. Yes? Let's talk. Well, here I am. Hmm. What is meant by someone like me? Uh, you're gonna be a beautiful, charming woman. And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because then, there were forbidden. And forbidden fruit is the sweeter, no? What about your fruit? Is it forbidden? My fruit? Well, it is not technically forbidden, but, but it's not freely given either. Not everyone gets a bite. I can't believe I'm having this conversation. <clears throat> but no, I did not take vows. The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Hmm, what is affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. And why are you looking for safe The harbor? Chantry does not pride, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Okay. Um... What do you need? Nah, never mind. I'm just seeing if he needs to tell me something. Emissary Pether. 
The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. Do you need anything? There are always areas to improve on, Grey Warden. The most useful for my talents are runes. Okay. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest, rest would be welcome. Yep, get some rest. Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. Hmm. Uh... Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. Mm, you're not allowed to be done quite yet. Oh, no. I'm not the sort of person that leaves things unfinished. I'll see this through, I promise. Okay. Go say hi to Mortis. Your dog is filthy. I can smell him 50 yards off. I think you're exaggerating. That may be so, but all the same, I would like your permission to bathe him. Uh... No, that's not what magic is used for. It could be. Uh, just make him sleep over on the other side of the camp. With Alistair. With any luck, that will keep all the stench confined to one small area. Okay. Anyone else? We'll pet him. Okay. So. Let's see if Sten has anything to say. Yes. Mm. Nah, we'll As talk about wish. it. As you wish. Okay. So. We'll talk to Lovey later. I'm not ready to do his mission. Let's just take a moment and consider where I want to go. We're going to take yes. you, you, yes. you from now, I think. Because I believe we're going to go to the elves. Right? That's not a bad mission. We, But I, I think that's going to be next. I want to have a few more levels when I go in there because uh, I'm going to be replacing... Um, uh, shell with Alistair for this section and I want Alistair to be as buffed as possible so let's try to get to the Brazilian forest and see what mischief comes our way because I think you always get stopped yep this could be a fight we are kind of near where the blight's coming north I think that was blothering right there cutscene in dinner room. I bring word sire there are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution, with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. So, eventually we will have an assassin to deal with. But not yet. The question is, what do we have to deal with? Hmm. 
Okay, you look kind of like... Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Dark Spawn on the way in. Where are you going? We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? What's the message about? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. No. <laughs> I thought you said... Wait. You're serious? Persuade. Let us do it. Uh, I suppose that's all right. As long as it gets there. Stay safe. I didn't really want to kill these guys to protect some random mage. But that takes care of that. We could have killed them and gained a little bit of experience, but that just seems dark. And I'm not interested in that level of darkness at the moment. It wouldn't have even been that difficult. We're getting quickly getting more powerful. Okay. Stop right there, outsider. The Dela should camp in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere and quickly. I see that's what I'm looking for. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? Um, I'm a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? Seriously, no one ever believes me. I suppose that a lie wouldn't gain you much benefit. I shall bring you to the Keeper. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Okay. Hmm. I see we have guests. Lovely. It's a whole colony. Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvenan Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaprian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Let's see. Uh, what's good with my name? The <coughs> Excuse me. From a Shemlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the South. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest. But we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Hmm. It's a way to help your men. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. I'm good at non-trivial Within tasks. the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago. 
but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. Hmm. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. I'll find it. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. I need some then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. Okay, I'm gonna go. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Okay, so we're gonna... Explore the camp and then start doing this next time. For now, like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Adios.